College is a unique time in life, and perhaps even more unique is when you add college athletics into the mix of daily life, balancing academic pursuits, athletic co commitments, and personal growth. It's not for the faint of heart and can be downright overwhelming at times. Yeah, but the university is ready to help these student athletes boost mental health during the mentally taxing time in life in partnership with Revenge. They will present the inaugural student athlete mental wellness summit later this month. With more is a CEO of Revenge, Brian Schroeder, and a former Butler University student athlete, Emma Ivanko. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Uh, Brian, let's start with you. The importance of mental health, obviously, increasing in schools and on college campuses since the pandemic specifically. Why is that? You know, I'm not sure um, if it has actually increased or not. Um, there was a mental health pandemic well before the COVID-19 pandemic. And what's been interesting is that colleges and universities for years have looked at, have, they've looked to solve this problem. And as the pandemic raised awareness of mental health and you saw a lot of telehealth applications and stuff that would pop up, it also increased um, an extended demand on the system, which is hard to meet. Mm -hmm. So colleges and universities are more so struggling to meet the demand of the mental health so issues on campus. It's maybe not an increase of mental health issues as much as the awareness of the mental health. Yeah, across the athletes. board. Yeah. yeah. And Emma, can you speak on being a student athlete? And I've been there. I know how it is. And also with the mental health and everything in school, it's a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it is the awareness 100%, especially as an athlete, you have that wall and that barrier, that vulnerability equates to weakness. So you need to break that down with student athletes especially um, and let them know that resources are available and that like their roster spot isn't going to get taken if they take that mental health day because you're ultimately going to be performing better when your mind is in the right place. The thing about athletes is you work your entire life yeah. to get to that point, right? And if one thing you think may take that away, you don't want that to happen. Is that what you guys are finding with these student athletes, that that's maybe one of those premier issues that they're, they're dealing with? You want to take that? Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. And I think with the NIL, the pressure to perform, um, performance anxiety is huge and at all levels. I've seen it as young as like sixth grade. I'm a coach and I see them putting this immense amount of pressure on themselves. And at the end of the day, we all started playing the sport just because it was a great physical outlet. Mm -hmm. And it was something that was a stress reliever is now all of a sudden a huge stressor in our lives. Sure. Yeah. So what services does Revencia currently provide to Butler students? Well, we've been working with Butler for the past couple of years, and it actually started as more of a wellness initiative, you know, just whole campus, whole person health. And then the pandemic hit, and so we were kind of already working with them at that time, and it shifted, and it's like, okay, now we have a problem. Um, we have this enhanced awareness and demand for mental health services. So Provincia at our core, we provide, um, it's a little bit of a different lens than how you might normally think about mental health on a college campus. It's not reacting and providing more of a clinical kind of therapy and counseling type of service. It's more, how do we get ahead of it? How do we keep kids from going down this path in the first place and a focus on their mental well-being? So we kind of focus on management of habit, behavior, and mental well-being at Preventia. It's a little bit of a double-edged sword because it adds to the stress and the pressure of people looking up to you, um, obviously, and you knowing that, but also you have the opportunity to approach this mental health thing and, and bring people up with you. Do you see that? Do athletes see that? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I think it's awesome that they allow you to try out mental health coaches, uh, different therapists, because I was even having this conversation with other athletes of therapists aren't one size fits all. Right. So what you need might be different from what your teammate needs. So the fact that they offer such a wide range of services and kind of that trial, you know, tri trial and error thing is awesome. Yeah. And to register for this event, it's happening January the 29th at 8 p.m. from Finkel Fieldhouse. Head over to allindiana.tv and we will have all the information there. Thank you both so much for joining us.